Hello and welcome to Bike Matters. Today we're looking at the top 10 125cc maxi scooters for 2024. Can we find the best 125cc maxi scooter on the market today? I'll show you a selection of 10 top picks, their pros and their cons, and make sure to stick around till the end where I'll show you the best three of the bunch. The Nico Alex 1. An athletic build, ideal stature, stands out and is seen, powerful. That's how Neko described their Alex 1 scooter. And though this is the lowest powered maxi scooter on the list, it is also the lightest. You get disc brakes front and rear with combined braking systems, so the front and rear go on at the same time. A digital twin dash, a USB socket with lockable compartments up front, and two years parts warranty from new. Now, whilst it could be beaten by almost anything in a straight line in town with just eight brake horsepower from the air cord single, it's also more than reasonable on the wallet at just £2,799 or thereabouts. You do also get a large 14 litre tank to get a theoretical huge distance between fill-ups. They quote an undisclosed large space under the seat too, and at very least it will be enough for one helmet. So weirdly, it does seem that the battery is a bit exposed in that very same space under the seat. This one is reasonably cheap, weak on power, but light and potentially frugal. It's a nice option for a maxi scooter if you're after a commuter dream that's easy to ride without sacrificing the spacious feel. It's got a good name too. Here we have the Lexmoto Nexus 125. Now Lexmoto have a very tasty offering here in the Nexus 125. It's liquid cooled and a very good looking scooter. There's also a black option with gold wheels. And I love gold wheels on a scooter or a bike. You've got keyless ignition, a seven inch TFT screen, disc brakes front and rear with combined braking system and about 14 brake horsepower on tap. All in Lexmoto has done quite a lot with this scooter. Though it is 185 kilograms and tied for the weightiest scooter on this list. Now the seat height is nice and low at 760 mil, so most riders should find themselves happily fitting atop this Nexus. And a two year parts and labor warranty may relax fears on the initial reliability and ongoing maintenance concerns. But this Nexus offers a great deal of practicality and style for the 2940 price tag from new. Next up, the Lexmoto XDV125. Now Lexmoto's XDV125 is the option for a budget conscious budding adventure scooterist. They say it combines the benefits of a 125cc adventure bike and has upside down suspension and the fittings for additional storage in a luggage rack. 13 inch front and rear wheels are trod with block pattern tubeless tires. And despite a quoted top speed of just 66 miles per hour, you still have the potential to head for some light trails on this, if you really fancy it. Discs front and rear, a taller 810 mil seat and all in what appears to be a smaller sized package you can consider this one if the style and off-road elements are what you're after. And again, for a budget price tag, as it's the cheapest new model here, with a two year parts and labor warranty included too. Though riders with an A2 license may be better off considering the XDV300 for a little bit more power. Next up, we have the Sim Joymax Z Plus 125. Now this one is newly fitted with an LED headlight setup and it's been introduced with a liquid cooled 14 brake horsepower motor it comes with ABS, which is a great addition, setting it apart from the ones mentioned so far here. It's an adjustable screen. It's got quoted with enough space under the seat for two helmets. And this one looks particularly stylish and it's built with some premium components. And it could be considered somewhat of a dark horse in this 125cc maxi scooter race. Perhaps the tank size could be increased from the 12 liters, but the 172 kilogram weight would go up too. So you take one with the other. Ultimately, the Sim proves to be a very adept option for a maxi scooter rider that wants some modern spec ABS and the zero resistance starter generator, which is basically a start stop motor and a good final finish. It is all for an attractive price point of just £4,199. And that's especially good for a 125cc with ABS and a two year warranty. Next up, we have the Kimco X-Town 125. Now Kimco's X-Town is quite the underrated prospect in my eyes. It matches a stellar 3,799 pound price tag with good build quality and a top rated 15 brake horsepower motor. It's all packed into a huge maxi scooter package and this scooter genuinely is huge. You've got daytime running lights, a solid screen to block the wind, plenty of undersea storage space. And this is what I'd say the Suzuki Bergman Street 125EX that we reviewed previously, click the link if you want to see that one, could or should have been in terms of size particularly. 
It comes in a silver or black matte finish, though it is really nice in a satin look in person. And I really like the look of this scooter and it's great for the money. A slight drawback here is the 185 kilogram dry weight and the combined braking system as opposed to ABS. Though this may well just be keeping that price nice and low. Stay tuned for our review on this one as well as we've currently got one in and I will love to hear if you've got any questions or anything you want to know about it. So get them in the comments down below. Now, when the time comes and you need insurance for your motorcycle or scooter, make sure to get a quote directly with Lexum Insurance by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. With over 22 years of experience and providing scooter and motorcycle insurance, there are several exclusive schemes that can be found at Lexum and you could well find the right insurance policy for you. You can get a quote ready for when you pick up your new 2024 scooter or give them a try when your insurance renewal comes up. Back on with the show. And then we have the Zontes ZT125-M. Zontes has a very well spec maxi scooter here. It's got a liquid cooled 14.5 brake horsepower motor, keyless control system, twin radiators, a TFT display, tire pressure monitoring, two fast charge USB ports, LED lighting. You could consider this one a sportier maxi scooter with dual channel ABS and disc brakes, along with 14 inch wheels and over 100 miles per gallon quoted by the manufacturer. One potential drawback is the space on offer here for storage. Quoted is a full face lid under the seat and it doesn't look like much else is going to be possible to squeeze in there with that helmet. You could go for a top box as well, but as far as maxi scooters go, I'd hope for a little bit more under seat storage space. Either way, it's a good pick here at £3,400 and this sort of looks like an NMAX. That's always nice. So we have another option here from Kimco and this time it's a maxi scooter with some off-road capabilities. The DTX is given a solid 13 brake horsepower to work with. It weighs in 176 kilograms and it certainly has the style the mobility masters are known for cracking out. And the price is £4,499. As it's another off-road inclined maxi, expect to find performance here as the sort of main selling point. You've got 13 brake horsepower, it's liquid cooled, ABS, telescopic front forks and twin rear shocks and I'd imagine you'll be happily scooting about town on one of these. Underseat storage space here does look substantial enough for two helmets underneath too and I have to say the style here overall looks very nice. It could well be the best looking of the bunch for me. And here we have the Sim Crew Sim 125. Sim's Crew Sim 125 looks to be a great longer distance touring maxi option with LED projector headlights, quick charge phone capabilities Enough storage for two helmets, disc brakes with ABS, a new LCD instrument panel, liquid cooled 13 brake horsepower motor, and all with plenty of space up top for the rider. Looks very spacious. Though a 12 litre tank and 179 kilograms could be improved on from both ends, the overall package from Sim here could make this a very good pick indeed, especially for £4,499. Though you may also prefer to consider the Joymax Z Plus, which is a little bit cheaper. Interestingly, Sim say this scoot can reach a maximum speed of over 99 kilometers per hour or about 60 miles per hour, which I'd certainly hope is the case. Perhaps look at one of the many other Sim options if you want more speed. Next is the Yamaha X-Max 125. Now Yamaha's offering may be the most expensive of the lot here, but it certainly offers the most premium level of maxi scooter riding that you'd expect, particularly from the Japanese manufacturers who love selling their scooters. Features include a 4.3 inch LCD display, smartphone connectivity, full LED lighting, plenty of storage, which is at least two helmets, traction control and ABS, a smart key, an adjustable screen and handlebar, a blue core liquid cooled 125cc engine with 12 brake horsepower on tap. And for those reasons, it's one of the top sellers in Europe and even has start stop tech for riding in traffic. And you can then conserve some fuel from the 13.2 litre tank. Yes, it is pricey, but there's a lot on offer here. And next, staying in Japan, we have the Honda Forza 125. Now, Honda's Forza 125 is the last of the 10 here, and some may argue the best of the best. At £5,249, you get Honda's selectable torque control for rear tyre grip, an adjustable rear suspension, an updated style and dash, a smart key, an electric screen, and this Smart Power Plus or ESP Plus liquid cooled motor with peak. 15 brake horsepower which is right on the limit as for rider convenience you'll also find abs and storage space for two lids and honda quotes a huge 305 miles per fill up of the 11.5 litre tank so this engine seems to be incredibly frugal 
And that's a particular note for delivery riders who may be spending long days in the saddle navigating city streets or just a commuter who's got a long way to go in the city. This latest generation of Forza 125 should be more fun to ride, more economical and just as maxi scooter as you'd ever need with plenty of space. Though the analog dash may dissuade some of you who want a little bit more tech for the big price tag. And it's also noting that the Forza is part of a long lineage of bikes that go all the way up to the Forza 750. And I love that scooter. That's a great scooter. So can we find the best free? Now, considering all of the good and the bad of the maxi scooters that we've gone through here, we find our podium free. So there's plenty of good options on this top 10, but these are my personal favorites. In third, I'll put the X-Town 125 from Kimco. Now this one offers a really stylish, large sized option at an affordable £3,799. And I'll let you know if it deserves a spot here when I test it at the moment, because it's literally in right now. Subscribe and you'll find out what I think of it. In second, I'll go for the Yamaha X-Max 125. Now it's a formidable, superbly spec scooter that has sold plenty of units over the years to more than earn a spot on the list here. It could even be first but that price tag does make it a tad difficult to put it as the best. And at first, I'm gonna put the Sim Joy Max Z Plus 125. It simply just ticks all of the maxi scooter boxes. It has ABS, it's got plenty of storage space, it's got the style, it's got LED lights and daytime running lights, and it's importantly available for a very tempting price of £4,199. You lot in the comments love to tell us if we've got it right or wrong, so get in there early with your top three and let me know what you're picking. Now, I'm really looking forward to jumping on the X-Town 125 from Kimco, so subscribe and you'll see it first. And of course, let me know in the comments if you need to know anything about it. Nice one, I'll see you on the roads and ciao.